everybody and welcome to Make It With Montage. I'm Steve Piacenza. This week, Kathy is going to be making New Year's party hats out of paper cups. That's right, paper cup party hats for New Year. So stay tuned and take a look. Hey, welcome. Thanks you guys so much for joining me and thank you, Steve. My name is Kathy Fillion and like Steve said, I've got a really fun video for you today. I am going to be taking a paper cup and creating these really fun party hats and you can make these so fast. So you can even make them before the clock strikes midnight tonight. So let's take a look at some of the different designs. This is the one I'm gonna step you through how we make. And uh, we've got some black paper there and this cool gold paper and trims. You can really just do these however you want. And again, like I said at the top, this is all done using a paper cup, Mod Podge, and scrapbook paper. You can add a big crazy bow, you can do flowers and all sorts of trims like that and you can see on the one that I'm wearing I've got all sorts of different things going on up there so if you have a box of random ribbons and glitters and and silk flowers and things grab that and let's get crafting this is so simple to do and I'm gonna walk you through all the steps so the first thing that you're going to need is a paper cup okay just any kind of uh, paper cup and go ahead and cut the bottom of the cup off. And our first step is going to be glittering the top. And I wanna show you what that looks like in a finished hat. So you wanna glitter that top or else you would have that seam of the cup. So choose a color of glitter that you like. I'm going with sort of all these different golds and whites and blacks. So, cause it's New Year's Eve, right? So let's go ahead and we're gonna use Mod Podge Gloss for this project today. And I'm going to add my Mod Podge Gloss right on the inside. I'm getting the lip there. Very simple to do. And like I said, you can make this right now and have it in time for when the clock strikes midnight. This is gonna dry very, very fast. Okay, so we've added a little bit. Then we're just gonna sprinkle our glitter on there. I always do this over a piece of paper so I can catch that glitter and funnel it back in. Just go ahead and glitter the top, okay? Now, I'm gonna set this one aside. I've got one that's already drying. So you would wanna wait for that to dry for about 10 minutes. It doesn't need too much time at all. I'll go ahead and filter our glitter back in before I create a glitter mess. I don't know who I'm kidding. I'm a super messy crafter. Okay, so guys, I'm answering questions live. So if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. Uh, and if you don't have any questions, just tell us where you're watching from. I'm here in Southern California, and um, it, I'm just so glad you guys are joining me today. So the next step is that we're going to paper the outside of our cup. And to make the pattern, we've just deconstructed a cup, okay? So this started out as a cup, and I just cut that in half there and cut that edge off. So this is our pattern, and from your pattern, you will cut that out of your decorative paper. So I'm using this white with the gold uh, metallic print. You can see over here, you can use any kinds of papers. I got some uh, zebra paper, some gray with some silver glitter paper, whatever colors you want. So this is New Year's Eve, so I'm doing all those colors, but you could do this for a birthday party, for anniversaries, for any time you want this fun hat. And remember, it's just a paper cup, so it's really inexpensive to do. So you'll go ahead and cut out your pattern from your decorative paper, okay? Just like that. And now we're going to Mod Podge that to the outside of our cup, okay? So for that, We'll just go ahead and let's move that pattern. Go ahead, I'm gonna use a little bit wider brush for this. This is the gloss formula. Let's add our gloss to the back there. Oops, I'm picking up a few pieces of our little um, confetti, not confetti, our glitter. See, I'm already moving on to midnight, our confetti. <laughs> I'm ready for that clock, right? Who's ready for 2021? 
Okay, so now we have our cup and we will go ahead and what I like to do is find that seam. There we go. Line that seam up and then just twist your paper into position like so. Look how cute. So that is really the foundation for the topper of the hat. So go ahead and press that seam down. Now really at this point, you probably need to let this dry for about five to 10 minutes because we're gonna be cutting into it. So I am gonna set this aside. I made one already just for sake of time that's already been drying. So I've got my glittery top and I've got my paper that's all the way around it. And now we're ready to add our brim of the hat. Okay, and that's two parts. It's very simple to do. So I have my decorative scrapbook paper, and this is just some recycled cardboard. Um, it's actually a shirt box, and that works pretty good. So I just wanna show you, I have one that's pre-done, so that's my shirt box, but I just wanna show you how simple this is to do really quickly. So again, we'll just add our Mod Podge to the back of that circle. Oh, I should, I'm gonna explain to you the circle shape really quickly. So let's go ahead and get that Mod Podge down. And then you'll just place it onto, you could use a cereal box. This is a shirt box left over from holiday wrapping and press that down. And you're gonna let that dry for about 10 minutes and then you would cut it out. So I have one here that's dried and cut out, but that's really how fast and how easy it is. Now for that brim shape, I used just a, a cereal bowl, a kid's bowl. So I just traced around it. And I kind of went with a ratio with my cup of what I thought a good brim would be. Now with that circle shape, here's my shape that I cut, I cut a circle for the inside because that is going to layer over our piece. And this piece I've already done, so I used some of the black uh, paper and it's already ready to go. So I've got my two pieces. This is going to be the base of the brim and this is gonna be the top of the brim. So let me show you how we put that together because I know that's a tiny bit confusing to look at. So what we have is the two circles and the, the big circle here that you're gonna turn upside down. And then this circle is what you're going to use as your gauge for where your hat will be. So you'll just place that onto your cup and I can see that I've got this much here that I can cut away. If I wanted my hat to be taller, I would just cut this a little bit more on the inside. So go ahead and just kind of line it up like that. So you've got your big circle with your printed side down, okay? Then you'll place your cup in the center and then you'll place your other brim piece right on top, okay? Now what you're gonna do, if you're happy with the height of your hat, you're good to go. I'm gonna trim away a little bit and then I'm gonna cut some notches. So let me just show you how to do that. So trim away. If you wanted, again, your hat to be taller, like the zebra one that I made over there, and I'll show you that in a minute, you would just cut your rim a little bit smaller on the inside, okay? Now we are ready to cut our notches. So just go around and cut some notches. For this next step, we're gonna use hot glue and that will make it go a lot faster. If you didn't have hot glue, you could use any glue that you have. You just want something that's going to be heavy duty and sturdy. Okay, so we cut some notches and now we're just gonna fold those back. And remember, this was just a paper cup, okay? Super simple, fun way to make a party hat with a paper cup. We're doing these for New Year's Eve. You can do this for any occasion. Birthday, surprise party, Valentine's, whenever you want a really fun, cool little hat. Okay, so let's go ahead and get ready to hot glue this. I've got my glue gun going. And get my finger protector. And we're just gonna add a dot to each one of those flaps that we cut and folded back. Okay, then we will take our back seam. I like to put the back seam towards me and we'll just press that right into the center. You got a little bit of time to wiggle around if you need to. And just press those pieces down. There you go. 
So now you can see how your hat is starting to take shape, but we need to cover up all that work and that's where our rim piece goes back in. So now I like to test it, make sure that's fitting good. That fits pretty good. Don't worry if you have a little bit of that edge showing there because we are loading these up with trims. Let's go ahead and hot glue that like that. And now we will press it down. Just like so. And you are going to get, I'm gonna show you on the pink, there will be a little bit of, you know, where it doesn't perfectly line up. I did not use a cutting machine. I just cut this freehand. So if you have that, many times if you're doing a ribbon edge, that ends up covering it up, but you can always go in and just trim that away if you need to. And again, I hand cut all these. If you have a cutting machine and you wanna do perfect circles, go for it, but it's not necessary. Once all of the glitz is on here, it all kind of just disappears, okay? So there's our hat, we got our back seam here. Now let's go ahead and start adding some of the trims. Let me bring this one over and let's talk about all the different trims that we used on this hat. So I've got, oh, let me hold it a little bit steadier. So I've got a trim here going around the outer edge and that's just hot glued on. I've got this thicker trim here, gems. These are just some of these really cool, fun, these are in the bridal department. They're for making corsages and bouquets and things like that. And then of course a big giant gem there. So you can load these up however you want. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. On this one, I've got sequin trim and ruffles. Again, we've got our glittery top. Use that same trim. You can mix and match these. All of these, my sister and my girls and I are gonna wear these on New Year's Eve. So I wanted to create a fun coordinated look. You can see here I've got just this giant bow with the glitter rim. So you can really make these however you want. And I totally encourage you, if you have that box of bits and bubbles and random rhinestones, pull that out because you can make these so cute with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our trim here. So go ahead and just add some hot glue. And I like to start on that back seam. That way you always have your meeting up spot. Oops, hold that in. Right at the back. Press, there we go. See there where it didn't quite match up? Once you have all your trims down, that doesn't even show anymore. Another little glue stick. All right. Add that right there. Here at this point, you can cut off your excess. I didn't measure very good, did I, guys? Okay, and last little bit. And hold that down. So that is the basic shape for your hat. And then at that point, you are ready to add as many different embellishments as you want. And let's look at some of those embellishments again. You can do ribbons, you can do pearls, big rhinestones. I love these big um, sort of just pearls. Um, it's just clear monofilament. You can use lacy flowers. It's really endless the different ways that you can design these fun party hats. Now, let's talk about how you hot glue it onto your headband. I have just some headband blanks like this. This hat isn't complete, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna glue it to the headband because I wanna finish this out but I know that you guys know how to glue on trim, so I'm not gonna bore you with that detail. So let's just go ahead and look. So you just, on the back side there, hot glue it right onto your headband. And then what I like to do, this is the part that I want to show you, is I like to grab a little bit of a decorative ribbon. You could use um, twill tape also. And, whoops. You've got glue going everywhere. Then I like to do this, go right over the headband. You can use grow grain ribbon, decorative ribbon, and plop that down, and that just finishes it off. Just makes it a little bit more polished. Now, a lot of people sell these at boutiques. They do them for first birthdays and things like that. And that's just a nice way to have it finished off looking good and ready to celebrate. 
So thanks you guys. This is our last video of 2020 right here on New Year's Eve. And we are just so grateful and so thankful for you guys joining us each and every Thursday for another Make It With Mod Podge. And I cannot wait to see you guys in 2021 next week. Have a great night and we will see you next year. Thank you.